uh, hello YouTube um, I was driving Siena the other day and uh, suddenly check VSC system error or code or message popped up together with the check engine light and um, then it uh, then it was gone I was driving okay for a while then it came back then it was gone and it was randomly going in and out and eventually it doesn't go away so it always shows me a check VSC system which stands for uh, vehicle stability control system and uh, it always shows up uh, with the check engine light and uh, I did uh, use my scanner I did read the codes and those are the codes you see you're gonna see right now on your screen when I run the test for VSC or ABS I guess it's or TRC uh, let's read the fault code it shows engine control system malfunction current and when we go back to the engine okay, power, engine oxygen sensor heater uh, control circuit low bank 2 sensor 2 so the code is P0057 the funny thing is when the uh, oxygen sensor fails it triggers the code for vehicle stability control can you sense the logic and uh, more of that when uh, this uh, message is on there is actually no stability control turned on for the vehicle so you can spin your wheels there is no I mean you can go sideways uh, so there is no system working for you uh, like as a stability control so <laughs> oxygen sensor fails and then you have no stability control how those two systems are connected together is beyond my logic um, but I mean the, the fix is simple I'm gonna replace the uh, sensor in, in a couple moments and hopefully fingers crossed those two codes should go away uh, I won't um, clear the codes uh, by my computer if I'm not mistaken once the sensor is there like the new sensor is there the code the codes eventually gonna go away I'm not sure right away or after like a couple miles or so so we'll, we'll get it sorted and um, uh, bank 2 sensor 2 means uh, in regards to Sienna is gonna be the sensor closer to the radiator or bumper and it's gonna be the sensor uh, after the catalytic converter so the first sensor is before the second sensor is after so the second sensor is um, uh, helping the computer to understand if the catalytic converter works okay uh, so in, the heater is not working for the sensor I have so whatever I'm gonna replace it I'm gonna show you where the sensor is located I already I already started to unscrew the sensor it actually came off loose uh, pretty easy and so let me show you Uh, so when we open the hood for our Sienna there in the bottom right there right here you can see the connector for the uh, sensor number two by the way this is sensor number one right before the catalytic converter so then goes the cat catalytic converter and then there is sensor number two below I'm gonna show it to you in a moment uh, from the underneath and I mean luckily for me if you would say it's it's very easy to replace it because it's on on that side of the you know engine that's a huge one holy smokes that's such a nice unbelievable By the way, I did use the pipe wrench to loosen 
uh, the sensor but like I told it came very easy so this is the replacement sensor and this is the part number for I guess it's OEM equipment from Denso 234416 I don't know if you can see it but let me show you where the where the actual sensor is right right here so there is a light coming hard to see but yeah it's very easy accessible I mean the visual condition actually is pretty good it's like there is it's not black or something it's nearly clean so it looks like it looks like the catalytic converter works actually good but let's try to swap it with a new sensor and see if it's gonna help to fix our problem the new sensor is coming in the package with anti-seize grease so make sure to use it let me try to feed it right here I don't want to use the pipe wrench now I don't want to sc scrape it here so the oxidation or rust won't spread nothing crazy I forgot to tell that I did use just a little bit of WD-40 uh, to penetrate before I did uh, unscrew the old sensor. But I literally left I left it like leave it to penetrate maybe for one for a minute, maybe two. Let me connect the sensor from from the top. There is our connector right here let's put let's put the wire right into the bracket the bracket is old and rust okay good sorry guys that you cannot see but i mean it's it's literally connected in place okay it's been done uh let's see if the if the uh, how it goes if the message is gonna go away right away or it's still gonna appear <sighs> all right moment of truth okay the check engine light is still there check vsc system is still there i intentionally don't want to clear the code I want a system kind of to clear itself and we'll see how much time it's gonna need to do so um, and I'll keep you posted I guess um, all right historic moment uh, it took eight miles of driving or I guess I did restart the car around five times by that time so I'm not sure if it's a count of uh, start cycles or it's um, mileage but so it cleared all the codes without using the scanner and there is no more malfunction here so we did fix the problem and again I just can't stop wondering that uh, O2 sensor the oxygen sensor is responsible for uh, uh, vehicle stability control it's it's something insane so <laughs> If you're not experienced driver and it's raining or it's snowing, or if your sensor fails, there is a good chance of, 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 cr of crashing the car. It's like, makes no sense. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna get out of here. That's what the success repair is a repair. Again, thankfully, it's, it was on the bank two, uh, which is towards the bumper, not toward the cabin. Uh, otherwise, it would be much more painful uh, but yeah take care guys